What is up? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build a Terran battlecruiser from StarCraft. This build can almost be entirely built at your settlement landing pad. However, you'll need a few pieces from the Demo shipyards, Stroud Eklund shipyards, New Homestead, and Hopetown ship technicians. To do this, you'll have to slap some random parts on your ship to make it flyable, and then swap out the parts when you get to the appropriate ship technicians. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around to the end where I'll be showcasing the final version of the build. If you want to see more themed spaceship designs, consider subscribing to the channel because I got more on the way. So with that said, let's get to it. Alright, I'm going to start this build off a little differently, because normally I start off with the landing bays, but instead I'm going to work from the front of the ship to the back. So first up, you're going to want to place a Deimos 2x1 piece. So I'm just going to kind of throw that right here. Once that's placed, I'm going to take a Deimos uh, 2x3, and you can actually find these at the Deimos shipyard in the Soul System. Uh, I'm just going to put that right on top of it to where it's kind of center up to where our first piece is right underneath uh, of this piece. From here, I'm going to take a Demo Skeg piece, throw that right on the front, do one on the other side. And like I said, this is going to be the front portion of our ship. From here, got a porthole, and I'm going to be connecting it to the bottom of our 2x1. Uh, our and that's going to go right up front. From here, I'm going to take a Demos landing gear. And I'm just going to connect that right behind uh, this skeg piece. We're going to do the same on the other side. Alright. So now at this point, uh, I'm going to take these Hope Tech nose pieces. I'm going to throw one on each side. And like I said, it's going to be the front. So we're going to go one on the left, one on the right hand side. And then right in the middle, I'm going to take a Hope Tech docker. I'm just going to connect it just right there. And then from here, I'm going to take another Deimos 2x1 piece, and we're going to throw that right on top uh, of this 2x3, and we're going to center it up. We're then going to move on to this left side by placing a Deimos 1x1. One one. I'm going to be connecting a Nova Wing right in, uh, right in front of it, so it's going to connect to both of these parts. I'm also going to take uh, some portholes. I'm going to connect one on top and then one on bottom of this one by one piece. I'm then going to take a Nova thruster array and we're just going to snap that onto the side of this one by one. And then uh, just I'm going to take a gun turret. I'm going to snap it along the, uh, the, the side snapping point of this Nova wing. And it's, it's your guys' preference on what weapons you want. So in this instance, I chose a KE-42 cannon turret. So... Once that turret's placed, that's going to complete that one side. So we're going to repeat the process on the other side as well. So once again, we're going to start off with a Deimos one by one piece. Then a Nova wing port. We're going to have our uh, portholes on the top and bottom. We're going to do a cannon turret. And then the thruster array. From here going to take a Deimos 3x1 and I'm going to connect it right to this uh, this 2x3 uh, Deimos hab. I'm then going to take a Deimos skeg piece and I'm going to connect the bottom portion so it's going to link up with our bottom 2x1 and uh, our 3x1 here. Then going to take some Hope Tech caps. I'm going to connect these to, uh, to the side here. They're going to connect right on top of this this 2x3. And I ended up rotating them so they kind of form like a curve. So I'm going to do that on the other side. Alright, and once those are placed, we're going to move on. And we're going to place um, some of these demo spine pieces. So I'm going to go a demo spine A piece right on top of this 2x1. And then right behind it, I'm going to use a demo spine C piece. From here, move all these over real fast. From here, I'm going to take this Hope Tech Cap B, and I'm just going to throw three of them on top of this, this 1x3 Deimos tab piece. And then I'm going to take these, uh, these shielded cargo holds, and this is going to be a 200 cm ballast shielded cargo hold. I'm just going to throw uh, these along the side of this 
of this three by one. All right. So once all of these are placed, we're ready to move on to the next portion of our build. All right, next up, we're going to start off by taking a Deimos 2x3 HAB piece, and we're just going to connect it to this 3x1, so it's going to be on this same level. Once that's placed, we're going to take these portholes, and we're just going to connect them right to the front of both sides of this 2x3. Let's see. Then going to take the Deimos landing bay, and I'm going to connect it right to the middle section of our 2x3 piece that we just placed. From here, I'm going to take a Deimos belly piece, and instead of connecting to the front portion, we're going to connect it to the back portion on that side, and we're going to take another one and connect it to the other side. From here, I got a Class C grav drive that I'm going to connect to the, uh, the back of this belly piece and uh, the 2x3. So in this instance, I ended up using the Apollo GV300 grav drive. We're going to jump to the other side where I'm going to take a reactor piece and I'm going to connect it. Let's jump around here real quick. I'm going to connect it to the other side where it connects to the Deimos belly and the Deimos mess hall. So this one I ended up choosing the DC403 reactor uh, by Deep Core. All right, so now at this point, I'm going to take a Nova Galactic uh, NG20 landing gear. And uh, I'm going to connect that right in between our reactor and grav drive. And I'm going to snap it to the bottom uh, snapping point. And you can get these grav or these, these landing gear at uh, the Nova Galactic te uh, ship technician. And I think that one is New Homestead. So, yeah, you'll have to make a jump there if you want to get that specialized landing gear. So at this point, I'm going to take... A Caravel V101 cargo hold. I'm going to snap it to the bottom snapping point of my reactor. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side where I'm going to snap it to the bottom snap point of my grav drive. Then I'm going to jump around and I'm going to do a Caravel V102 cargo hold. And I'm going to snap that to the top connecting point of the grav drive. And I'm going to snap another one to the top uh, of this, this reactor piece. All right, so now at this point, I believe you... I believe you connect the Hope Tech uh, pieces. You snap them to the bottom sections or the bottom snapping points of uh, of the reactor and the grav drive. All right, yeah, that looks right. So from here, I'm gonna take a uh, fuel tank. I ended up using the 900T HE3 tank. I'm just gonna connect that right on top of this landing gear. And then gonna take another Hope Tech nose piece. I'm gonna connect it to the bottom snapping point of uh, of this fuel tank. At this point, I'm going to take a, uh, a Class C engine. So this is going to be a Supernova 2200 engine. And I'm just going to snap it to the, uh, the top snapping point of this reactor. I'm going to do another one on the other side for the, the grav drive, where it's just going to snap into the top, uh, the top snapping point. I'm then going to take a Nova thruster array. I'm going to snap it into the uh, that side snap point. Oop. Throw another one on the other side. I think that's gonna do it for that section. Yep, that's gonna do it for that section. So we are ready to move on to the next portion of the build. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna be taking a Deimos two by one tab and I'm gonna be connecting that to the top of this two by three. I'm then going to take this Stroud Eklund bridge. This is the the Contiki uh, B600 bridge, and I think you can only get this at the Stroud Eklund shipyards. So this is going to be a specialized bridge that uh, you're not going to have access to if you're building this uh, this ship at your your settlement landing pad. So I'm just going to connect that to the front portion of this two by one we just placed. From here, I'm going to take another two by one. It's going to be a Deimos 2x1, and I'm going to connect that right behind our bridge. And then I'm going to take two more 2x1s, and I'm going to connect those right beside, but we're just going to, we're going to lower it one level. So it's going to, it's going to go, go right next to this 2x1, but just down a level. So it's, it's technically snapping uh, onto these, this 2x3, and then the, uh, the grav drive and the reactor. All right, and then from here... 
It's gonna take this Hope Tech cap, and connect these along the sides, and then I ended up uh, rounding these off. Uh, you can you can cycle through them, so I, I ended up doing the rounded ones, just how you see here. I'm gonna place those on both sides. Let's move this over here. And I'm going to be connecting some gun turrets on the front, uh, the front Hope Tech cap. And then uh, for this build, I end up choosing the MKE 4A Auto, Auto Goss. Yep, Auto Goss gun. So I did one on one side, and I'm going to do the other one on the other. All right, and then for this section, we take in these Caravel 4104 cargo holds. Be snapping them in these points and they're just gonna snap right there on both sides then gonna be taking these Deimos bumper pieces and be connecting them to these uh, two by ones and once again these are also you can cycle through these so I ended up choosing these uh, more angular parts put it on that uh, this two by one put another one on this on the other side Probably move these both together. I'll probably speed things up. All right. Now that that's placed, I'm gonna be taking a another supernova engine, be connecting it here where it's gonna snap onto our fuel tank and our two by one. And then gonna be taking a Deimos cowling piece, placing it here on top of our two by one. Do uh, be placing a Deimos hull right uh, right in front of that. And then I'm going to be taking a Deimos, another Deimos cowling piece and snapping it onto the Deimos hull. And then last but not least for this portion, I'm going to be taking a shield generator and connecting it to the top of this Deimos hull. So with that placed, we are ready to move on to the wings. Alright, so last up is our wings. So you're going to start off by placing a Deimos 2x1. From here... I'm going to be taking these Accu-Lander 11 landing gears from Stroud Eklund. And I'm going to be placing these and snapping them to the bottom of this 2x1. And then from here, I'm going to be taking a Stroud Cap A. I'm going to be connecting it to this first lander. And I'm going to be putting another one on the back. Those should connect just like that. I'm then going to take a Deimos Wing C piece. And I'm going to snap it to the, uh, the front portion of this 2x1. And then a Hope Tech Hab Cross Brace. I'm going to snap it to the uh, the other section of this 2x1. Uh, this Hope Tech Brace uh, can be found uh, at Hope Town. The ship technician there should sell this piece and a couple other um, unique pieces. So yeah, that's, that's where you're going to find this, this cross brace. Uh, I'm then going to take this Deimos Wing E piece and I'm going to connect it right underneath this Wing C piece. And I'm going to be doing another one and connecting it right underneath uh, this this cross brace and I rotate it to where there's a slight there's a slight little curve that goes towards the middle I'm also going to be uh, connecting a gun turret to uh, the the front of the demo swing pieces so for this build I ended up using the MKE 4A auto Gauss gun all right so now from here I'm going to be taking some more uh, some more shielded cargo holds be connecting those to the side of this 2 by one Then going to be taking a Stroud cowling, be placing it on top, placing another Stroud cowling uh, right next to it. But this is going to be the specialized one because you can cycle through it. Uh, this is going to have um, a, a placement port or snapping point right there. And that's actually going to be where a porthole is going to go. So we're just going to snap a porthole right there. We take some more Deimos wing pieces. Just snapping those to the uh, the back side of these cowling pieces. I'm then going to take a Hope Tech, looks like Hope Tech pipes. I'm going to connect it to the side of this 2x1. Take another Hope Tech pipes and snap it to the back of the 2x1, just like that. We take another Stroud, Stroud cap, connecting it to the top of that. Another one to the front. And then I got another weapon, which I ended up placing at the front of this Stroud cap. So for this build, I ended up picking the Disruptor 3340 Alpha Beam. Uh, and that should snap to this Stroud cap right here. I'm then going to take another Deimos Wing C, uh, yeah, Deimos Wing C piece, 
and that's going to snap right to the front portion of this 2x3. So from here, you can take everything, and then basically this, this cross brace is going to snap right there. So everything should line up nicely. So at this point, you're just going to redo the process, uh, process but you're going to mirror it. So you're just going to kind of flip everything, and you're going to come up with, uh, with another one that should look identical to the one that you just made. And you're just going to snap it right in the same, same part. So once that's snapped, that's going to complete the build. Battle Cruiser Operational. <laughs>